G'day everyone, it's Paul from Qualify here again. Um, recently I made a short video using the new Denon AVCX 4700 and its HDMI diagnostics feature to test three different HDMI cables. Uh, they, I tested them up to three meters long, like this one. Uh, they all passed and I got a couple of questions from people saying what about longer cables could you test those and I thought okay that's a, actually a good idea so I scrounged around and found this this is a 10 meter passive HDMI cable but it's a no-name brand it's probably only a couple of hundred bucks brand new a few years ago I know it works so I thought I'd do the HDMI diagnostics test again on the 4700 but also on the 3600 just to see if it has the same answers that the 4700 came up with so, let's give it a go. Here's the cable connected to the two testing sockets. It's the monitor one output and the 8K HDMI input. This is a bit different to previous year's models which was using the cable satellite input. Let's test this cable to see about its capabilities. Might take a little bit of time as it's a slightly longer cable. Okay, 4K at 9 gigabits per second pass, 4K at 18 gigabits per second fail. Hmm, interesting. The 3600 uses the cable SAT input, as I mentioned, and the monitor output uh, looped together. Okay, let's test the cable on the AVRX 3600. Same results, 4K, 10 gigabits per second, but at 18 gigabits per second, it failed. Right, so what does that mean? Well, this passive 10 meter HDMI cable will actually do a 4K signal as standard dynamic range, but it won't do enhanced dynamic range. It can't do 18 gigabits per second, but it will do quite happily SDR. So if that was good enough for you, it would be a perfectly suitable cable to use but it certainly can't do 8K video.